Ogri. And it's a good start from Ercoli. It looks like he has got a jump on Alonde. They're going to be side by side, making their way through Curva Grande for the first time. Single file now for the leaders. Ercoli with a great start. Alonde still in second, but it's side by side just behind. And there we go, back on the way with the green flag. And it's a brilliant launch for Alon Day. He's already up in front of Ercoli as they make their way through turn one. They're going to be side by side through Curva Grande. He's not going to be able to hold on just through turn number two. Ercoli has got away with that one, didn't get the best of launches. Now in towards Chimini one for the first time. Will Day look for a move? Not quite. It's going to stay single file for now. As they make their way through Chimney 1 and Chimney 2, side by side. Sullivan throws back a little bit further back in the field, but we're still looking at the front two here. Ercoli followed by Dave. Dave's going to send it around the outside in towards Campagnano. Still there on the outside. Is he going to be able to make it work? He gets pushed off all the way onto the curb in the painted tarmac. He has the inside line now for turn 8. He's going to push it deep on the brakes. Alonde looking for the race lead. Alonde has the race lead. And look, they're up on the inside of Ercoli as well. And we're green again. And it is once again a brilliant launch from Alonde. They're already three wide as they make their way in towards Curva Grande. Surely they won't be able to go three wide through the complex, they're going to have to slow down a lot here. There's already a car in the background. Final lap of the race. Final chance for Rucker to try and make up one more position on Le Marie. There is your race leader. One and a half second gap to Maggi just behind. Making his way through Campagnano now. Alon Day through the very quick and tricky turn line there. Using all of the runoff on the outside where the alternate layout splits from the circuit. Seems to be easing off ever so slightly just to save the tyres a bit. Through the yellow flags as well as Carl on the inside of the circuit smoking quite heavily. But through the final couple of corners now then. Starting from a second on the grid taking advantage of uh, Curly's mistake. And around the final corner now, Alon Day is gonna take a 30th career victory and a first at Vallelunga. Alon Day wins round number five of the Euro NASCAR Pro Championship. And we are green, making our way through turns number one. It looks like a great start from Vladimiros Tiotis and Alberto Nasca is going to sweep through turn two in front. He takes the lead, heading down in towards the chimneys for the first time. And it is going to be Tvek just in front of Liam Hazelman. And Hazelman is under threat now from the drivers around him, side by side. I think he's going to lose the position that he is. Looks like everyone's made it through cleanly so far. We've got one car off into the gravel, but he comes back onto the circuit, circuit safely, and nothing is going to happen with that one. And there's the number 56 machine, of course, uh, that is shared with the Euronasco Pro Championship leader. But Alberto Nasca leads the race as they make their way through Campagnano now, followed by Vladimir Ostiotsis. But look how close they are coming out of the final corner now. You can see there, you can barely see Hazeman's car. And this is going to be the best opportunity yet. Look at this. He's right on the rear bumper. Is he going to go for a move down the inside and towards turn number two? He is. He swoops down the inside and Hazeman is up into fourth position. What a beautiful move that was. Continent not putting up too much of a fight. But Hazeman put such a run out of the final corner. It was almost impossible for him not to take that position although he has run a bit deep and is it going to be a complete carbon copy of what happened on lap number one no it's not he just about holds speed around the outside Brett 
NASCAR closed the door and there's a big impact there into the wall. I didn't quite see what car it is. I think there might be two of them into the wall there. That was massive. Hopefully both drivers are okay. But there was massive contact into the barriers there at what looked like high speed as well. And there it is, we are green, and that is another good launch from Hazemeth. Look at that, he's already up at the third position. He's fully ahead of De Beck. They're gonna go three wide in towards turn number two, Kermit Grande, and Hazemeth is up into third position now. And just about, there's a car that's gone off slightly at Kermit Grande, but just about, they've all made it through cleanly, making it into chimney one and chimney two. Double drivers running a little bit wide onto the tarmac, but no, harm there, but it's your top three that we're focusing on now, Alberto Nasca, the Oxus in second, just behind, and Hazemann with a monster of a start, up into third position in that number 50 machine, up into the podium places, it's the white flag lap, it's the final lap of the race, so Nasca in a brilliant position here, heading in towards Campagnano for the final time. He's got Seortsis around about eight tenths of a second behind him, but I don't think that's going to bother him. At his home race, he just has half a lap to go. Oh, and into the wall, it looks like definitely off the circuit, the number eight car in the wars again, Valeri. And I can't quite tell where on the circuit that is. But Nasca now coming around through Semaphoro. And in towards Torrentino here as well. Tightest corner on the circuit. Three corners to go for him now. Through the left and the right of Esse. And just one corner left to go. Siotsis nowhere to be seen. As we come around the final corner now, the number 88, Alberto Nasca, fan favourite, home favourite. In his home race for the very first time. He'll take the checkered flag and take the win here in round number five of the Euro NASCAR 2 Championship. Brilliant race from Alberto NASCAR. Two race start, well, a race start and a safety car restart. Not a problem for him at all. Lights to checkered victory. A beautiful drive from the Italian at his home race as well. He is going to be delighted with that one.